Greater Worcester Opera was formed with a twofold mission of both opera performance and education. So we bring opera to the school and we also love to have kids involved in our operas. So that's the educational part. And then we perform. We have local audiences and local performers. And that's um, a really important part of our mission as well. If you learn about something and you like something, then you, you grow to love it and then you grow to want to experience it more. That's part of why we love to have kids in our operas because they realize what a beautiful art form it is. And I always kind of say it's like musical theater on steroids. <laughs> it's the best of musical theater plus great big singing. So, and we have so many people in our community who, can, who are trained to sing opera and who do it so well. A lot of people have been trained at conservatories and, and in the Boston area and then they kind of come out out to Central Mass and um, we get just incredible singers, um, amazing talent. Well, I've been singing operatically really for over 25 years. Uh, and what I think is really unique about Greater Worcester Opera from some of the other associations I've worked with, first of all, one of the greatest things is the collegiality of the experience. Uh, Elaine Crane stepped up to get this organization going uh, with a specific focus on education, bringing opera to the schools, and making opera accessible, whether it's in concert or in actual stage performances. And the energy that she and her family and other members of the organization have brought to it have allowed it to grow. I don't think I can do these productions without my family being involved. It's a wonderful creative experience for us all because you know you don't want to just sit back and consume art. You want to be a creative person as well. Well I'm the executive director but I'm also kind of the chief cook and bottle washer. We do everything from making sets and costumes and props to um, running auditions and all kinds of things in between. And they've learned a lot along the way. We all have, we've learned a lot, and so it, it almost becomes a massive family project. <laughs> uh, there's a unique character to the, the sort of almost family feel that we have with working together and knowing that we're really trying to serve the community by what we're offering them. You know, teaching my students, my music students, about theater, about music, you know, and remind them so many times that so much of what they know as theater, music theater, is really anchored in the operatic tradition. And what, what's wonderful about what Greater Worcester Opera does, particularly with doing productions in English, so that people can come and appreciate the drama that's being given, uh, also using local, like myself, singers that they may know when they come to an operatic production that Greater Worcester Opera does, they're engaged immediately. And so by being engaged in that way, they are learning something about the form very quickly, uh, very often, even my students have numerous times said after they've come to a production, I was really surprised how much I enjoyed it because it was accessible and they were really able to, and able to enter into the drama of the moment. Another really important thing for our organization is our touring children's opera. We've had so many kids uh, respond so positively to our opera, they love it. And um, we've had kids write in and say, I went home and I put Mozart on my iPod and my i, you know, and so that's really exciting to get kids excited about music like that. And it's nothing beats live performance. You can YouTube and you can, you know, find things on your computer, but seeing somebody in front of you singing is really a very unique experience and it's very exciting. I think opera, in the same way that Shakespeare is, is timeless because the characters are timeless and the themes are timeless. They're still beautiful stories and they're classic for a reason. They've, they've endured the test of time for a reason. There's so many beautiful works that deserve to live and be heard and be performed. Thank you.